one man's trash is another man's treasure. So today, I'm gonna be going through some trash. Well, not really. I'm going to the junkyard to see what I can find. You may never know. I can find some stuff and then maybe I can find some junk silver. Who knows? But I also have a plan. All right? So welcome to another video of Urban Lifestyle where our goal is to help you guys create a better life by creating better health and wealth. And you guys can help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a thumbs up, comment down on this video below. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can get future notifications of my future videos. Let's go. I'm working for work, babe. Working for work, babe. So today I'm just doing a small project here. I'm going to a junkyard. Mainly I just want to get some stuff for my car, of course, but since I'm going to be there anyway, I'm going to actually look for, you know, dimes, nickels, pennies, mostly pennies. Last time I went to the junkyard, I found a whole bunch of quarters and um, pennies and nickels. Well, I left the pennies, you know, but now I can find a lot of pennies, a lot of nickels and a lot of quarters. And hopefully you never know. And the whole goal is to get enough coins where I can actually go to the local coin shop and actually get some precious metals with them. All right, so let's go there now. All right, we're here. We have a lot of work to do. All right, so I got into my first, well, not my first, this is about the 20th. And look what I found here. Some old pennies right there. What year this is? 2017. I found the 1972, so you already know this is 95% copper. Let's see, and the rest is just regular. 2000, we have some quarters here. Another quarter. Now, of course, it wasn't just laid out here for me. I found this dime right here. You really know, all you gotta do is look and you see the copper in there. I had to search for them deep inside this and I just laid them out so you guys can see them. But let's just look for some more. Even on my worst day, worst case, bring in the wordplay. Music is my job, you're in my workspace. Flow so sick, but never had a sick day. Used to push pound just to make that dough. My mom might hear this, can't say no more. Switching subjects, born in the projects. Always on my grind, never seeing progress. Nonetheless, I'm always on the rise, always on my grind. 3 365. And they say every dog always has his day. But I'm the underdog, trying to find his way. Tell them top dogs that I'm on my way. Matter of fact, scratch that, I'm at the front gate. With a mean ass bark, with a mean ass bite. Only five, seven. In fact, I mean that's right. Oh. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray In hopes for a better day Better day Caught up in the dark, don't know what to say I'm looking for a better way A better way I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray Alright guys, so this is all I can find Well, this was about as much as I can find as far as the junkyard in my hand got real dirty as well. And this is everything that I found inside the cars, which is a lot. And I went through every last one of them, and this was the only thing that I could find that's actually real copper right there. And I think that's what I showed you guys that I found there. But so I'm gonna take these, count them up, and see what I can do. Take them to the local coin shop and see what I can get back for it. So after hours of being inside the junkyard and going to Walmart to actually change the coins into actual paper dollars, I end up with around, I think, how much was it again? 15, 16, 17, around that time, around that area. 15, 16, 17 dollars, around those, like I, I know it wasn't uh, above 20. So I went to the coin shop and I got all these. Now, I got two dimes, 1994. I got this quarter right here, and honestly, I have no idea what the date is, but I know it's in between 
1916 all the way to 1930. It's one of those. It's one of those years. And then I got this American Eagle, silver American Eagle. Might actually had to put some more money into it to actually get that one. I could have brought more dimes, but I was like, hey, um, let me just put something more to make it 19. And then I just brought this with it. I think I put about a good $10 in extra on top of what I made from the junkyard. But just a creative way. I don't know if you guys want to do it. I spent a lot of hours at the junkyard. I don't know if you guys want to do that. It's just a project I wanted to try, see what will come out of it. And this is what came out of it, minus like a good portion of this um, one ounce American silver eagle. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Hopefully um, I wasn't stupid for being at the junkyard for so long. But hey, um, you don't even have to go to the junkyard. If you guys save your change or whatever and you have a whole bunch of change laying around, just go ahead and change it and you get some stuff out of it. It's just a creative way to actually buy some precious metals. All right? Have a good one. That's why I work and grind.